<laughs> I have a child that's going to be six in March, and he's severely autistic. And he's just now, with 40 hours a week in the last year and a half, starting to come up with two and three word phrases. And he actually gets humor now. Like a severely autistic child, he goes to bed at night, and there's a movie that he has, and he's, it says, Good Night, Joey. And he looks at it, he says, Good night, Joey. And then he looks at me and says, no, good night, mommy. For a <laughs> severely autistic child to be able to do that after a year and a half, 40 hours a week. And he wants to rip it away and send him to school. Well, I called to schools in my area. And I was told, oh, we don't have full-time EAs. So what is he going to do there all day? Well, we don't know. We don't have any EAs for you. Well, what about the ADA specialists that he's talking about, the 13,000 strain? No, we don't have those either. So he's lying. So my child is going to go to school April 1st with no EA and sit in a classroom of SK kids of 30 kids doing nothing all day. May I ask, so I know families have traveled uh, from quite a distance uh, to be here today. Where, where uh, is King you? City. You're in King City. So which uh, school board is York that? Region. York Region. So I called both boards and um, they don't have full-time EA. So I'm not sure what he's talking about when he says, go to school and send your child to school. We have the support because there is no support. So now he's going to go from talking to two and three words to doing nothing. And we all know, research shows us, once a child regresses, any skills they lose, you're not so sure you're going to get those skills back. And what you have to do to get those skills back is overwhelming. So what's going to happen? 